to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles well, and Rosenberg. Well, everybody saw the, uh, the PDA photos of Kanye West and actress Julia Fox. I mean, listen, we talked about them because they allegedly met over New Year's Eve and... It's moving very fast. You think? So, <laughs> look, the photos are for Interview Magazine. Um, you know, it's just like them making out on the floor. Kanye, an unusual Kanye fashion, uh, playing dress up with Julia Fox. You know, she claims that he surprised her on the second or third date with like a hotel room full of clothes. And, you know, some of the photos shows him buttoning up some dresses and stuff. Uh, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Listen, okay, to, uh, there are a few things that need to be established here. Any human who saw Uncut Gems, one of the big takeaways was certainly, who is that girl Fact. about Julia Fox? I'm just being yes. honest. Julia okay? Fox is hot. I mean, she is a hot chalacha. There's hot no chalacha. denying it. The, the <laughs> se- if you've seen Uncut Gems, it man, matter of fact, if you watch Uncut Gems with your girl, when she came on screen, it was one of those moments where you're like, because mm, 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 mm. it's just an undeniable level of hotness. Now, Kanye and Julia Fox is fascinating because they are already the most serious couple in Hollywood, and they've been dating since last weekend. I know, I know. And and the one thing I, I about Ye is what it appears like is that he is doing classic Kanye with Julia Fox, and that is not only, like, love-bombing her and becoming obsessed, but right. also, like, making her amuse and dressing her up in clothes, too. Now, this is... Obviously, this is not my lane, so I'm not going to compl- uh, com- And we're not uh, try to relate. like Kanye, so we can't, we can't relate. I mean, you know what, Laura? Laura let's, well, first of all, is, is it really celebrity behavior to fill a hotel room with clothes and make a girl play dress-up? I mean, like, he has I access like n- not a lot of people have. Like, he can make. But why would call. you want? But I just wouldn't want. Like, I don't understand celebrity or nah. Hey, listen, he's into fashion. You know, but like my, I, I have to admit, when I meet a new girl and we're dating, my first priority is trying to get their clothes off, not put them in a thousand outfits. <laughs> but everyone has different interests, and this is this is what Ye is into. He's into fashion. And, I, I mean, listen, she's a perfect muse in that he usually is into girls who have these sort of almost cartoonishly amazing bodies, right? And Julia Fox sort of fits the the mold when you think about the Ambers and Kim Kardashians and these sort of, like, they're almost like real-life Jessica Rabbits to some extent. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Just it's like, going to be interesting to watch know, this I one mean, play out, though. They're already doing interviews, talking yes. about how they met. She's already talking about the fact that he was, uh, I, I heard, on time to their date, even though it was 8 o'clock and he landed at 7. They took over Carbone and did a photo shoot. The whole restaurant was cheering. PR galore, guys. Oh, PR my galore. God. But in, listen, I in see your Pete Davidson, and I raise you a Julia right. Fox. In other Kanye news, Variety says that they have sources who claim that Kanye signed on as one of the big names for 2022 joining Billie Eilish and Swedish House Mafia for Coachella so you know Coachella has uh, been cancelled because of the pandemic for two years now so now they're trying to come back and if, you know look Travis Scott is not going to hit that stage I don't know when Travis Scott is going to perform again he has a lot of e- uh, legal drama going on right now I, I, I honestly don't know when Travis can come back but there's no official announcement yet, but I feel like Variety has pretty good sources. So we'll see. Coachella with Kanye West, Billie Eilish, and Swedish House Mafia. Sort of makes Sounds me like want to sell out. Yeah, sort of makes me want to make the trip. I'll be honest. Sounds kind of fun. So I've never done Coachella. See. You ever done it? Yeah. It's okay. Never gone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, fine. Mm-hmm. Laura, you're okay. a hater. I'm not a hater. It's just yeah. Me. Laura doesn't like anything that has too much going on. She's like me. It makes her like me. Me, me, me. I I hear it's okay. I hear it's That's pretty okay. dope. If you have an it's awesome fun. house to stay at, I hear it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it could be fun, but you know, yeah, no, it's one of those things. She's such a hater. Your hate, your <laughs> the hate is oozing out of you. 
<laughs> I'm doing it on purpose too. But anyway, um, in other news, um, young Dolph, you know, they've been investigating his death and they have identified a suspect. Ugh, it's just so sad to me, man. Uh, the U.S. Marshals uh, Memphis Police Department say that one of the suspects is 23 years old, a man named Justin Johnson, 23 years old. So they released a mugshot on Wednesday and he's wanted for first degree murder. Ugh, the whole story is horrible. It gets worse. Awful. Awful. But one at least the, the, one of the, the, let's go one ahead, of, Cass. Sorry. Sorry. One of the other guys they found uh, that they caught up with was 16. 16? 16. So they have a 16, they have a warrant out for a 23 year old. And Ugh. I don't know, man. Awful. Crazy. Awful. Crazy, crazy. Hopefully crazy. it gets resolved sooner than later, though. 